Hello everyone, welcome back to IVZ YouTube channel. Today I will show GUI installation of a Ubuntu server in Azure Virtual Machine. So first go to Azure portal and sign in. Create Ubuntu based virtual machine. You can check IVZ YouTube channel how to launch an Ubuntu based virtual machine. Over here I have already created and it stopped. So I just need to select and then start it. Now our virtual machine is running. Click on the connect then SSH. Then copy the command and open a notepad in your local system and paste it. the public key address and paste it over here now copy the whole code and open command prompt line in your local system then paste it and press enter to run it once it's executed it will ask for confirmation write yes and press enter to connect the virtual machine now you are connected to virtual machine we have to install the graphical interface of ubuntu using the command line prompt first update the ubuntu server using this code And also I am writing this code in a notepad so you can run it easily. Check the description box for these commands. Now you have to install FCE using this. This will take some time. Till then, I am writing the next command for FCE session. Now I just copy it and run it in the command line. Next we need to install remote desktop connection using this command. After installing it, we have to enable it. Now we need to give certificate access to RDP user so we can access Ubuntu through remote desktop connection.
Also, we have to configure RDP to use FCE as our desktop environment when we start the session. Now you have to restart the RTP surface for the changes uh, to take effect. You also need to set the password for our account since RDP cannot accept SSH key for authentication. Finally, we are all done with the installation. Now again, go back to your Azure portal, then click on networking. Then click on add inbound port rule if you are not created a RDP rule. Over here just change the service to RDP and leave rest as it is then click on add. Since I have already created it I am just uh, cancelling it for now. Now click on the overview then copy the public IP address over here. In your local system, search remote desktop connection and launch it. Then paste the IP over here and then click on connect. Now you see that Ubuntu GUI is launched and it asks for username and password. Provide the correct username and password, then click OK. The desktop version of Ubuntu will be launched. Now you can install requirement software based on your workloads. I am just installing Firefox to browse the websites. Press Y to accept uh, and Firefox will be installed. To launch Firefox, just write Firefox and it will be launched. That's it for today's video. Next video, I will show how to install Hadoop in Windows and Linux based operating system. Till then, take care. Bye bye. See you next time.